Hi there, it's Jody. Welcome to episode 29 of Tuesday Tips. Today I'm going to show you just something really simple, but something that you might not always think about. So I've got my Flirty Flamingo ink, and I just grabbed uh, just a larger, more solid image. It doesn't have to be this, but that's how I wanted to show you today. So I'm going to tap my ink and just stamp some random Flirty Flamingo on the background here. And you can see, you know, just what the ordinary flamingo looks like on the basic white cardstock, okay? Now, what would happen if you took something just a little bit darker, like Blushing Bride? So let's see how this compares. I'm using the same flirty flamingo, but this time I just want to stamp it on cardstock that's just a little bit darker. And what I like about this is that sometimes we forget, like we think we always have to do a background on white or vanilla, and it's okay to use a color for that. But let's take it a step further. You've probably done some tone on tone where you do flirty flamingo on flirty flamingo. That seems pretty common to do. You might not think to do it on something lighter, like Blushing Bride, but you might think to do it on the same color there. Okay, so that's our progression so far. I'm gonna take it one step further and use Melon Mambo. So let's see how it compares on here. So this is the color of the ink. This is how it shows up on a lighter cardstock like Blushing Bride. This is Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo. And now let's see what happens when we take that Flirty Flamingo ink onto this dark Melon Mambo. So I think it's going to be just a fun, different, different color. And what's interesting, I should have grabbed it. When you do Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo, it shows up super dark. But this is just kind of a nice, a little bit more subtle, like you definitely see it. It definitely stands out, but it's not dark, like if you did Tone on Tone Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo. So I just want to share this progression and just to encourage you to, to take your colors, whether it's Flirty Flamingo or another one, and stamp on different colors of cardstock to do some background things. Of course, I would put this as a layer on the card and then, you know, some type of focal point, but it's kind of fun to just see this progression of how it looks depending on how dark the cardstock is. So give it a try. You can try it with Flirty Flamingo, um, maybe some shades of blue or green. Um, I'd love to see what you create. Feel free to make something and take a photo and share it right here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.